I had a dream the other night that I was taken to the institution. Yes, the people in white lab coats took me away. And when I finally got to meet with the psychologist, I asked him what my diagnosis was and why I'm in here. And he replies to me that you have occupational trauma-induced psychosis. <laughs> of all things, right? The trauma came from long hours in the semi-truck and a lack of sleep. Psychosis, of course, including seeing and hearing things that aren't real, right? So I blew it off as just a crazy dream. When I got curious the next day, and I googled occupational trauma induced psychosis. It's a real thing. And guess what it can be triggered by? Long hours of work and lack of sleep. So it is at this point that I surmise that I only have three conclusions from this dream. Either one, my angels and spirit guides from beyond the grave have given me a dream and properly diagnosed me with something I couldn't have known. Option two, my subconscious mind put together all the clues from the many psych books I've read over the years and made me a personalized diagnosis. Or three, I really do have occupational trauma induced psychosis because I think my angels and spirit guides have given me a dream from beyond the grave. But it is at this point that I realize if I really do have occupational trauma induced psychosis and I am cognizant enough to diagnose myself, then is it really possible that I could have occupational trauma induced psychosis at all? 